Well, it's been a pretty uh, long time since I last did a pickups video or an update or anything. And um, this is what the game room looks like now. Um, I don't know whether I have um, showed what it kind of looks like now in any of my previous videos because my previous videos were such a long time ago. I have this table here for my steering wheel and I have a sofa in here instead of the uh, old, well it wasn't old, but the, the chair that I had in here before. So anyway, without further ado, pickups for the PSVR, well, it's a normal PlayStation 4 game with a VR kind of update. Uh, Wipeout Mega Collection, pretty uh, awesome game. In VR, pick that one up, brand new. Couple of games here. Um, the story behind why I have Mace Griffin on Xbox and PS2 is that I purchased the PS2 version, but the seller sent me the Xbox version. But they also had the X. They yeah, basically they had both for sale. They sent me the wrong one, and they were like, you know, I'll send you the PS2 one and just keep the Xbox one. So. That's a bit of a bonus, yay, and that's not the last we'll see of Mace Griffin. I have down here a bag of shit that I was given for free today, so I'm going to take you through this. Um, it's kind of the remnants of a job lot of stuff from France that somebody bought, so there's a lot of French stuff in here. Um, but yeah, we shall have a look. We have Supreme Commander French version. Um, some of these games, like you see there, they, they only have France list, French, France, French listed as the language. I don't know whether you, if you stuck it in your computer, um, whether it would actually have English on there. Who knows? Uh, probably will never put this on, but I've got the English version anyway. So, yeah, now I have the French one. Yay. Um, Le Perrain. Le Perrain. Uh, which is basically the Godfather, but it doesn't have the disc in. Instead, it has the disc for some kind of weird um, Japanese 3D fighter. Uh, Saint Saint Seiya, Son Seiya. I don't fucking know. I don't. I don't know whether that's the name of it in France or that's like the Japanese name or what. I don't really care to be honest. Uh, Boulder's Gate, uh, white label, budget style but it is a kind of big box gotta love me some big box um yeah i can't bother to open that uh another big ish box they're not big big boxes but they're bigger than a jewel case or dvd case uh star wars galactic battlegrounds again um if you look at the back these are all in french um so they may have english on there again with Baldur's gate you see there, that's all French. Awesome. And there we go, Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter for the PC in, again, French. Um, so yes, I have probably every version of Mace Griffin there. Big Mace Griffin fan at the minute. Not really. Um, Codename Panzers Phase 1. Um, again, French. Uh, Thief 2, Dark Project, um, Dark Project, it's Thief 2, um, yeah, I guess it was just called Dark Project in France, I believe that's Thief, anyway, um, Morrowind, again, um, French, but, uh, yeah, I keep meaning to get around to playing, uh, Morrowind, but, uh, it's supposed to be a pretty cool game, but I haven't got around to it yet. I do have it on the Xbox, and it is Xbox One backwards compatible. Now, this is a funny one. Um, it is a Sega Pico game. Basically, it's like for babies. Um, but I just thought, you know, it's Sega. It's pretty cool. So, uh, thou shalt have that uh obviously i don't have a pico console because i'm not that insane but uh somebody paid five euro 90 for that at some point but uh yeah that's pretty uh pretty cool i think add that to the sega stuff um not my favorite deus ex game invisible war especially not my favorite when it's in french but uh that's that i do have that the english version as well down there um 
Maelstrom and uh, don't know anything about that other than it is French. Looks like some kind of RTS game. Uh, Tomb Raider. Is that the anniversary one? Where it's like a remake of the, the first game. Fucking child next door is really fucking pissing me off. It's like about three or four years old and all it does is fucking scream and make noise and I want to punch it in the fucking face. Right, uh, Starship Troopers. Uh, again, French. I um, don't really know much about this game. Looks pretty crap to be honest. It's one of those games where you can't actually even tell what kind of game it is from the screenshots. Flight Simulator 3 Battle over Europe in French, obviously. Battle pour le Europe. I have two copies of Condemned, both um, French, I believe. Yep, um, both kind of different box variations. I am the sort of person that keeps different box variations. If the box variations are the same, I don't keep doubles. But I do if they are different variations. Le NBA 2K11, because it's French. Um, Le Franc in uh, Dead Rising 2. Was it Frank in Dead Rising 2? I don't think it was actually, was it? It was somebody else. And then Frank came. Because Frank was the guy from the first one, I think. And then he came back. Um, this weird Frostmaster, some sort of PS2 cheat code system that's sealed. Don't know anything about that. Got, like, if that's all of the cheats that are on there, like, fuck that. Um... A box for SNES Game Converter. I don't have the converter, but uh, I got a fucked up box that I can just like put on a shelf or something. Because I have an action replay and not this fire game converter. Uh, Scooby Doo for the VTech. That's about my level of intelligent gaming right there. Scooby Doo on the VTech. In French. Uh, Pro Evo 3. With that. Is that like bold looking fucking mean referee? I forget what nationality is. But anyway. Storm Rise. Which possibly. Do I, do I have this for something? Or if I have it for something like 360. Do I have it on PC? But uh, it's supposed to be wank anyway, but um, yeah, that's that. Another game where you can't really tell what it is from the back. And last and probably least, who cares? Uh, I've been told possibly Lord of the Rings online. I wouldn't really know anything about this because I'm not into that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, well, yeah, Lord, Lord of the Rings online, yeah. But they just call it Le Seigneur de Anne, Le Ombre de 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 uh, yeah. so that is a shitload of pickups and a lot of French stuff, quite a bit of Mace Griffin right there, and wipe out a mega collection because I can play it on my VR and it's pretty fucking nice. And yes, a spin round of what the game room looks like now just to end the video different curtains um, games lots of games some stuff's moved around slightly the sofa then we've got the table with the steering wheel and uh, the, that all looks pretty much like it's always looked and I put the shelf up with the VR headset and cameras and things on there so yes Thanks for watching, I'm going to upload this now, goodbye.